All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoka, and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. So today, back in Tableau, taking a look at assist leaders in the NBA from the 2017-2018 season. There are two things I want to show in this uh, in this video. Number one, we have a parameter where I can change the parameter and I get less and less players that show up. Uh, if you're a Russell Westbrook fan, he's number one. You only get to look at him. So obviously you can control the number of values that show up on the dashboard with this parameter and also we've got some rounded bar charts here right so this is a pretty cool uh, technique I picked this up reading the uh, the tableau magic blog and so that inspired me to to put this together and I'll, I'll place a link uh, to the article where I found uh, this technique on my blog at anthonysmoke.com so let's just uh, let's get into this how do we create something like this I'll show you how to create the uh, the chart not necessarily the uh, the dashboard so I've got my my NBA data set here and I'm gonna drag a dimension let's drag the player name uh, to rows we've got uh, all of our players and I'm gonna drag assists to columns and then we're going to give that a nice little uh, sort there then I'm going to drag my dimension uh, player name here to filter and then I want to go to top and we're going to go by field and we're going to create a new parameter and we're just going to call that top in and the current value let's make the current value 20 and my range of values I want to go from 1 to 20 a uh, step size of 1 that's fine we're going to say OK and then we're going to say OK again. As you can see, my parameter shows up. And yeah, the show control is already there, so that's great. All right, so now if I change the number here on the slider, you see people start disappearing, right? Um, just like Back to the Future here. People, people start <laughs> disappearing as I play with the, uh, the top end here. So um, now we have this set up here. Let's go to uh, let's fit this to the entire view. Uh, next thing we want to do, let's create a calculated field, and I want to call that uh, zero. And it's surprisingly, it's going to have the value of zero, and we'll say OK there. And I'm going to take zero. I'm going to drag that uh, down here to the axis, so this shows up. And let's change this to a line. And that gets what what happens there is. It puts the measure values on columns. It puts my measure names on rows, which is perfect. So now I can drag my measure names here to the path, and I end up with a straight, straight lines here. So that's a good thing. So now we're just getting into um, kind of formatting here, right? So I'm going to let's click the label here. Let's do a little formatting. Show the mark labels. Um, let's go to line ends. And then I'm going to uncheck uh, the end of line here. So uh, label end of line, let's uncheck that. Okay, I want to go into the, um, the font and let's change the size to 12 here, right? So it's kind of uh, nice and big. And we need to do some formatting here. So let's, um, uh, let's format this right here if we can. Uh, I'm going to go back into... Let's go over here to assist and let's do a little formatting default properties number format. There we go. And let's go to number custom. Let's get rid of the two decimals. All right. Perfect. Great. And so now we can just size this up as you see as we fatten up the, uh, the marks there we get a nice little rounded effect, right? And so now we can do a little bit of formatting. Let's go into format. And let's, for the sheet, let's go grid lines, none. Let's go zero lines, none. Uh, axis rulers, none here on the sheet. And grid lines, none here. All right, so now we're, we're nice, and, nice and clean here, right? So, Let's see, we want to take a look at, uh, remove the grid lines. Let's drag the, let's drag the assists to color right here. And obviously the, the colors will change and I can play around with that. I'm gonna edit the colors. Let's do a, uh, I like kind of like the orange gold, right? So if we apply that, 
right? The hotter you are here, you know, the redder you are. So that's that's kind of cool. I want to go back in here to label and on the font. I like to match mark color. So let's do that, All right? And we can go in here. Let's edit the axis. Let's go. If I if I wanted to increase my size here, if I want a little bit of extra uh, space here, right? You can see that moves over to the left, so that gives me a little bit of space. I'm going to uncheck show header. I'm going to hide field labels for rows, and there you go. So we have a nice little rounded uh, bar chart here. We've got our top 20 players uh, in assists in the NBA, and then I can change my values here um, by moving this down, right? If I just want to see the top five, right? I only have five players that show up. Take it all the way back to the top 20. So there you go. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.